You currently have a chance to mint an inscription that could help you qualify for a number of different airdrops across this entire ecosystem of apps and protocols because the People's Alliance, which is over 50 different protocols from Web3, jointly valued at over $10 billion, have launched an inscription mint today. And I'm gonna walk you through how you can actually do it. But before you can follow along with this process, you're going to need to have a Discord account, a Twitter account, and a MetaMask or other Web3 wallet with the Linea Layer 2 Ethereum network enabled and some funds on it. Once you have all of those things, you'll be able to mint an inscription and join this People's Alliance as an ally. And I suspect that if you mint one of these and hold it in your wallet, then there's a good chance that it will help you qualify for some airdrops in 2024 and beyond. So let's get right into it. This is the People's Alliance minting page. And at the bottom here, you can see the total number of people that have actually minted this, the total number of mints, and the mint process. So, so far, it's still at 0.01%, and it will remain open until 21 billion of these are minted. So, so far, there is a long way to go. And if you're watching this, you probably still have a solid chance of doing it. Now, I am going to walk you through the whole process, but there is also this helpful guide in a blog post from Particle Network, and I'll throw a link to this down below as well in case you need it in a little bit more detail. But for starters, you need to navigate to this page here and hit join now. The next step is to log in via one of these methods. However, remember in steps three and four, you are still going to need to connect Twitter and Discord. So I'm just gonna go ahead and try to connect via Twitter. Now there's been some network latency this morning because a lot of people are trying to do this at the same time. So you might get an error and you might have to refresh the page and try a few times before it actually works for you. Once you connect your Twitter and you actually get to this step, you have to input an invite code. I'll post some down below and other people feel free to drop them down in the comments as well. Once you successfully input the invite code, next you have to make sure that you follow Particle Network on Twitter. So once you connect your Twitter, make sure that you're following the Particle Network, then go back to the People's Alliance page and connect your Discord and join that as well. And this brings us to the final step before we can actually start to mint the inscriptions, which is we need to connect a wallet, I'm using MetaMask, and then verify our initial rewards. So simply hit on this button here that says connect wallet now and choose whichever wallet you're using. And finally, you have to sign a message in order to sign in. This transaction doesn't cost anything and it doesn't actually take any assets from your wallet. You're just confirming that you are the owner of the wallet. So then it calculates your rewards. And to start, I got 1,450 points and four inscribe cards. So now let me show you exactly how you can mint these inscriptions. You hit on the launch button here and it brings you to this page and you can see there's buttons on the side here that say inscribe and inscribe gasless and up in the top right hand corner it shows you the balance of the cards that you have so currently i don't have any gasless inscribe cards which is a better version because it's free you don't have to pay any minting fee but i do have four regular inscribe cards and so that means that i can mint the inscription four times and each time i mint an inscription it will generate 1000 of them for me now pay attention here because this is a tricky part and i've seen a lot of people make this mistake on twitter but if you just have created your particle wallet and signed up and got to this point and you think you're ready to go because you have metamask set up with some eth on the linea network then you go to hit on the inscribe button and mint one of these inscriptions it's going to pop up and tell you that you have an insufficient balance in your wallet even though it's saying i only need 0 0.0002 to mint this and in my wallet i have well above that amount but the issue is you haven't funded your particle network smart account wallet yet and so before we can actually mint these inscriptions we need to transfer some funds on the linea network from metamask or whatever wallet you're using to Particle Network. And so you'll notice here that there is a smart account with a wallet address. So we need to copy that wallet address and send some ETH on the Linea Network to that before we can mint this. Now, if you accidentally hit the inscribe button and got to this point, realizing that you didn't actually transfer any ETH into your new Particle Network wallet yet, you'll notice that the inscription card amount goes down. Now it says I only have three whereas earlier I had four. But don't worry, you didn't actually lose that inscription card. If you just wait a couple of minutes, it will come back and you'll be able to still mint that inscription. However, next time, just make sure that you fund the wallet before you actually hit on the button 
and you won't have to deal with that issue. So now that I copied my wallet address, I'm gonna open up MetaMask and I'm going to hit send and I'm going to send a small amount of ETH to my new particle network wallet, let's say 0.005 ETH. And you can actually send it back if you don't use it all. So I'll go ahead and hit next and confirm this transaction. Okay, so that was sent. Now, if you're wondering where you can actually check the balance of your particle network wallet, you'll notice down in the bottom right hand corner here, there's this pink button. And if you click on that, it will pop up with the wallet. I should still be able to make the inscription because I did transfer some ETH. So if I go ahead and hit on the mint button now, it will pop up and show me that yes, okay, I do have some available balance. Now, the first time you make an inscription, it's much more expensive. In fact, it even says here, the first gas fee for your first minting may be slightly higher, but then every time you come back and mint again, it's much lower. So I'll show you how it works. You click on the inscribe button, select the gas token. I'm just gonna use ETH and hit mint. Then it pops up asking you to confirm a transaction in the Particle Network wallet. So hit confirm. Okay, and the mint was successful. And now I have 1000 inscriptions in my wallet. And you'll see if I hit on mint again, because I still have multiple inscribes left, the next one will be much cheaper. Yeah, it's less than half of the price of the original one. So I'll go ahead and mint again and confirm that transaction. All right, so that was successful. This page here just shows the overview. So you can see the bar is slowly ticking up. There's about 5,000 people that have actually minted these inscriptions so far. And until we get the total supply cap, it will remain open. Now there is a leaderboard showing that some people have minted millions of these, which is absolutely ridiculous. But if you want to move up the leaderboard, there's a few things that you can do. So if you hit on the top right hand corner, where it says your name from Twitter, you can invite people to join the People's Alliance and join your squad. And then collectively you can earn more points. So if I have any invite codes left, they'll be linked down below. But there's also this button here, tasks, where you can actually complete certain tasks and get additional points. So I actually have 200 points available to claim because I sent some Linea mainnet ETH to my smart wallet. Now there's other social tasks that you can complete. So for example, here, if I click on this, there's all of these different partners and each one of these is a set of tasks that you can complete to earn additional points. I'm not gonna walk you through the whole thing, but if you're interested in trying to climb up the leaderboard, and to earn additional inscription tickets, then you can do these things to get points. Once you reach a certain number of points, you can actually hit on this spin button and try to win more inscription cards. So that is how it works. You get points, you try to get more inscriptions and then move up the leaderboard. Now, whether or not these inscriptions themselves will ever actually be worth anything, I'm not 100% sure. However, according to the Particle Network, having a wallet participating in the People's Alliance inscription campaign may also eventually qualify you for rewards from other Alliance members. And so since there are so many different apps and protocols that are participating in this campaign, it's possible that if these guys do airdrops, then they could reward people that minted these inscriptions. That's the idea anyways. So yeah, if you are interested in joining, I'll throw some referral codes down below. Hopefully you'll be lucky enough to get some gasless bins because then you save some money that way. I don't recommend allocating a huge amount of capital towards this, maybe just a couple of dollars if you're interested in sort of ticking that box and saying that you participated in this. I'm a little bit skeptical if it's worthwhile to spend the amount of money that it would take to actually move up the leaderboard to the level that some of these people are doing. But for sure, as a box ticking exercise, especially if we're trying to qualify for airdrops in the community tab of all of these different protocols, then yeah, it doesn't hurt to put a couple of dollars into this new wallet and to try it out. So hopefully you found this tutorial helpful. Let me know if you have any questions down below in the comments and I'll see you later.